How's it going guys and in this video we're going to be talking about how to generate a sitemap and add it into your website and this is so that search engines like Google can understand the structure of your website and return pages of your website in search results if you want people to visit your website so pretty important stuff and fortunately it's not too hard so the very first thing you're going to need to do is I'm assuming you have already have a Google Search Console account and you will have registered or proven that you own the website of interest. In this case, I'm going to be doing sparkclinical.com. And the other thing you're going to be doing right after that is you're going to note here that I have no sitemap at all, um, which is not bueno. So, so um, what we're going to do is go to xml-sitemaps.com and you will enter in your website. Uh, so in my case, it's you're going to use the HTTPS colon slash slash www.sparkclinical.com and then you're just going to hit start. And so what's going to happen during this process is that it's going to run this crawler over your website and it's going to look at all the public available uh, pages that are available, uh, pages, and then it's going to create this XML file uh, to help Google understand the structure of this. And so basically you're kind of doing Google's job for them right now. You're making it very easy for their uh, crawlers to just find this sitemap and then go run to it. And uh, yeah, so this process, depending on how big your website is, can take a few minutes. Sometimes if it's a very simple website, it would less than a second. But in my case, I've got a lot of pages. Um, so I'm just letting this thing do its work. And uh, yeah, so we can come back to when this thing finishes. All right, and so after about one minute, the xmlsitemaps.com has returned me the XML sitemap for my website. And if you're running a simple website, it's really just a matter of taking this XML file, putting this into that root directory, and then pushing your website out to the web server so that Google can see that sitemap.xml. In my case, uh, it was a little bit more tricky because I'm using Flask uh, in Python to create my website and very similar process for Django. But what I did in my case is I took the XML file and I stuck it into my templates folder of my Flask application. And then I'm referencing that using Flask's URL4 method and the render template method. All these are built in Flask things, so you don't need to worry too much about them. And then I'm generating a response using Flask's make response method of the actual sitemap uh, path that we have. And then finally, I'm appending this into the response telling the web server that this will be application XML type data. So finally, I just make this response so that when someone goes to this link on my website, I have my website running right now on port 5000 on this local machine. If you're on my website and you go to sitemap.xml, you are returned this XML file. And this is the XML file that came from the uh, sitemap, sitemaps.com page. So this is just a little check before we actually deploy this. Next, what we're gonna be doing is uh, pushing this code. I use GitHub and it's linked to Heroku in order to deploy my website, but basically you will deploy your code. And then finally, what you can do as a last sanity check is you can test your, uh, sitemap so if you just go to like test sitemap um, once you're it's on your website um, you can go right here and in our case uh, my website is called https colon slash slash www.sparkclinical.com forward slash sitemap dot xml you can validate the sitemap and you can see that we've got no issues, which is great. So basically we've now generated this XML file. We've placed it onto the root directory. We've made it accessible to people when they try to hit this particular endpoint on our web application. And now uh, we can go back to our Google search console and basically take this exact sitemap that we've just tested, copy that and add in this sitemap URL right there, hit submit and Bob's your uncle. So that is how we can add a sitemap into Google. Uh, it takes them an unknown amount of time in order to actually crawl your website. So what I'm gonna do here is just back off, but this is a very good step in getting your sitemap XML file into a format that Google likes so that they can put your website 
into Google search results. So I'm going to wrap things up with that. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and take care.